Hello guys, B Class Heroes here, and we're gonna re review the the last day, main day of the conferences of E3 and E3 so far. I gotta say, Nintendo, you were the least cringy. No bullshit, you got right to the point. Reggie's like, good speeches. Yeah, Reggie didn't didn't fuck around. He got right to everything he needed to get to. Although I, I could have, he could he could have had a few more games showcased during Nintendo Direct, but. Overall, it was great. I mean, it opened up uh, with, uh, I thought it was Armored Core. Darian thought it was Armored Core. Everyone thought it was Armored Core. Well, it wasn't. Which, I would have lost my shit if, it, if they actually put Armored Core on the Switch. But, yeah, it's uh, it's still, it, it still looks really good. Uh, Demon X Machina, I think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that looked really good. And, uh, of course they showed, uh, Pokemon, uh, let's go Pokemon, Eevee, Pikachu. Um, that's looking just as good as we all expect. Um, Reggie, you magnificent bastard. We got a Mario Party God, on Switch finally. Nice. Yeah. We got a Mario Party on Switch finally, so now it's a true Nintendo console. <laughs> I really like the direction they're going with it. And, uh, the new Fire Emblem is beautiful. I, I really like the fact that we're finally getting a Fire Emblem on a mainline console again. I like the fact that maybe we could uh, get those group attacks going. Uh, we got the nice 3D visuals. It, it just looks really good. I was I was really loving the fact that we got to see that. And we got I mean over half the conference was of course Smash Ultimate, which that that's pretty goddamn hype. So uh, my friend Pat has been messaging me and he said that there's a hidden message. In Cyberpunk, there's a microtransaction. Yeah, from the company that brought no. piracy. No, that's he. That's not. It's actually a secret message against microtransactions. Um, I'm gonna record this. By the way, Rob, by the way uh, Pat, we're live pretty much. So I'm just gonna say this on YouTube. Uh, no, it was actually a message against microtransactions that other people are trying to turn around and either hate CDPR. Or, and to give you an idea of who CDPR is, they were founded on the basis of piracy. Trust me, they're not going to have microtransactions when all they made their money in the original state was because they were pirating and then reselling games. Wanna... Smash Ultimate. So that? much for Smash being a port. Am I right, guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every character that's ever been in Smash is here. We're all here. Snake is back. I repeat, Snake is back. In any time. They're improving the, the standards and qualities of gameplay. So that is really good. And the fact that they're continuing and to work on it. kicked everyone's ass. Oh, yeah. Like, they were... Nintendo just about won best in show with their announcements for what Smash Ultimate no was. fucking Metroid! Yeah. Um, the fact that they're uh, getting uh, what's... Uh, Ridley... Ridley in Smash. <laughs> That's kind of fucked. Dude, he's got a sweet style attack that can do 60% of your health bar. It's crazy. Just fucking crazy. You know we're gonna get online, it's like everyone uses Ridley now. I like the fact that they're bringing the 8-player uh, eight, uh, eight match back to Yeah, and Rob, stop telling people Goku's gonna be a special character they're gonna give the DLC. It's not gonna happen. I know you want it to happen, no, but then it's everybody not would just use Goku. It's and not gonna happen. No other characters people <laughs> Like that was that was a good conference. I honestly would would have liked a few more games. If they would have had a few more games, Nintendo would have won E3, straight up, because the direction they were going, the quality of the conference, and how, it was just high standard, high standard, high standard quality entertainment. What better look forward to? Actually, they're going to be doing what they're doing. Oh, I'm just trying to make <laughs> Like, Nintendo's gonna be doing really good this next fiscal year. Oh, yeah. Like, the amount of titles they have coming to the Switch. It's, it's always easy when you're, you know, starting off it and yeah. instead of ending it. So. Like, honestly, if the Wii U hurdle didn't happen, Nintendo could have won this generation. But they fucked up the Wii U. And they didn't do the Switch initially. Like, if they would have done the Switch from the get go, they could have won. Um, like, 
I actually had to change my ratings. So, like, like, we all did. had to change our ratings to boost and lower certain things. Oh, Robert, did you put Nintendo below or above PC gaming? Uh, below PC gaming. Like, for me, PC gaming still won. Like, just because of the sheer force and the sheer amount of games that are coming for PC. I mean, that, that, the shit that Sega's doing for us. Mmm, that's just tasty. And in fact, like, they're, they're, they're gonna continue to do more stuff for us, too. So it's definitely shit to look forward to. But, I mean, they, had, they announced over 30 games for PC. And this is even not even considering the Battle Royale games they announced. Over 30 games, just purely over 30 so games. So you said Battle Royale, but my brain shut down? I mean, they had one good Battle Royale game, and that's the... Zion Yeah, yeah that, that's the okay one. But, like, we got that Maneater, that uh, Sharp PG. Um, we got... Okay, I gotta refer to this list again, just because there's so much. We got the new Warframe DLC. Um, all the shit from Untitled uh, Studios. The, yeah, those guys the, are fantastic. Yeah. All that shit is good. Uh, we got Hitman 2. Uh, Two Point Hostel was good. Noida was awesome. I want to play the living shit out of that. That uh, so every pixel is simulated the game. That roguelite. Um, yeah, it was really fucking good. The amount of titles. Really kick ass. Everybody else in the show was picking everybody yeah. else's. But no hardware. It really, it really wasn't. And he, the only cringe was to give out a few Battle Royale games. That's it. I mean, some people might find that uh, female co-host a little cringy, but she I, I, like, I like, I like, I like her humor, honestly. I think she was hilarious. She basically called herself a mad eater. That woman needs to get laid. So boys, if you're out there near here, get her a couple drinks, do your thing. I mean, she was asking for people to do that. Anyways. Yeah, yeah she really was. Like, I, I have to, just because I think it's the best in show. I gave... PC gaming show, 9.5 9 out of 10. Just because it's quality entertainment. I was really surprised that Sean Murray showed nothing. There was nothing about No Man's He's Sky being, terrified of being what it was. Like, I mean, for fuck's sake, the guys in Battlefront 2 showed up. He couldn't show up. Uh, so, <laughs> there is gonna recover from that one. But they, they could have had No Man's Sky there, and he just didn't. I mean, there's a lot of games that could have been there. Call of Avengers game and Screening. <laughs> but no, um, it, it was just surprising that that wasn't there. Like, there's quite a few games that could have been there that weren't. That, which, like, No Man's Sky is going to update this July, and it's going to be the game it was marketed to be now. Yeah. Plus a lot. I think uh, second place for me was a uh, Sony show. Just because Sony focused on that high-ass quality over quantity. The old, like, like, Stop being the old time. I'm giving them like a 9.2 out of 10 for a few reasons. I'm giving them a 9.4. Part of which was the fact that they had a weird art direction thing going. Like, they, they came in with a guy playing banjo for two and a half minutes. And then they had the guy later on playing the flute. The and, flute made sense, though. And then they had that weird transition period where they moved everyone out of that part of the venue, and then that's when they talked about How the games. How much that don't money matter. is Sony making for PlayStation? Like around a venue for one fucking game, right? And a lot of people are actually talking about the fact that they're wondering how much money they spent just for the, that showcasing Last of Us Part Two. <laughs> Which they have a lot of games. Like I think my like the, my favorite game and show was uh, the um, Ghost. Of, uh, Mine too. Yeah. Mine. Fucking like that. Too. That game is just amazing. Like, I know we didn't see much. We don't even have a release date. And it's just like, hmm. It I'm early 2019. Right? It revived a lot of those feelings that I got of seeing Witcher 3 gameplay for the first time. So I was like, yes, I'm really looking forward to this. And Robert, you need another consideration to read the Witcher books before seeing it. I had read them beforehand, and seeing that was just like, this is what my imagination right. thought of it. Yeah, so it's, that's really cool stuff. Which Witcher, like the Witcher series, uh, the older games, are really fucking cheap on GOG right now. Like, I think they're only like an hour or two. Uh, the original two, the special edition is still 30. Yeah. But that includes I mean, so. everything. Right. So it's like, hot damn. I mean, I'm going to be doing a lot of Let's Play thanks to Sony's conference. Um, yeah, I gave them a 9.2. Nintendo, really close behind with a 9.1 out of 10. Oh, they're going to put some decimal points in there. It's a 9.199 semi-repeat. <laughs> um... 
right behind Nintendo, Bethesda. They generate a lot of hype for me. Like, I'm really considering buying the $200 edition of fucking Fallout 76. Which, another thing, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about a little in this video, and then going to do another video on it. Um, there is heavy misreporting on Fallout 76. I watched an interview today about, uh, Todd Howard himself said they have the intention of doing private servers, which means solo play for sure, and play only with friends is definitely an option. So, ignore this bullshit where it's like, oh, it's always online, it's gonna be a thrust clone. Yeah, land servers bullshit. are not online servers, no. guys, just to let you know, I don't know why this is so hard for... Hey, Polygon! You suck at everything! Now, Stop. one thing I will mention is we don't know what they're doing mechanics-wise. We don't know if they're bringing skills back. We don't We don't know if they're just please make take, an RPG taking again. the gameplay style of Fallout 4 and no, making Fallout not. 76 out of it, which there are some hints of that, like looking at the interface and the gunplay. Hopefully, you do a good job with it. So that's what I'm hoping for. Um, I don't think the new thing is going to be too OP. I think they're going to scatter those codes pretty decently. Um, We're still going to look for it. Oh we're yeah, still, we're definitely, yeah. Yeah, we're I'm definitely looking for it, yeah. Um, Elder Scrolls 6, everyone's pissed because he just said, I'm done, after saying that. <laughs> like, he literally goes, Elder Scrolls 6, bye. And I'm yeah. like, but where? What? No, more footage! No! I, am happy, I am happy that Todd Howard did attempt to redeem himself by being aware of his errors. Guys! Saying that sometimes it doesn't just work. Don't forget. Amazon for free has for Alexa has Skyrim it's very super real. special. It's actually fucking. Yeah, it's very real. Motherfucker is trolling he us in so real hard. fucking yeah. life. He named so fucking unreal over that shit. <laughs> I actually want it, but I don't have an Alexa, so I might get it just for Skyrim. Like, this game's <laughs> really good, honestly. The fact that they made jokes about Walmart Canada really fulfilled me. Of course, they had, from our friends at Walmart Canada. Yeah, they had that like, Andrew WK. Come on. Uh, by the way, it should be known uh, that we are going to try to be at E3 next year. I'm going to be saving Maybe. up. Maybe. I, I, I don't know if I'll be able to, but we'll see what happens. And I'm also going to try and cover TGS this year. Robert won't be able to go to that, but I will try my best to go to that this yeah. year. We're definitely going to do some coverage of it, definitely. Um, we're also going to cover Gamescom. Um, oh, God. Gamescom! Hey, look, it's like, yeah, Wait, Robert, you mean we're going to cover the Tiger Electronic fucking toy? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn it. Somewhere James Rolfe is hurting himself right now since we're Yeah, saying. I gave Bethesda straight up a 9 out of 10 for yeah. all the shit they showed. The fact that he showed so much of Fallout 76, then dropped the this year release date. But I mean, that's to be expected. Don't we're all getting it. <laughs> right behind uh, Bethesda, uh, Xbox. I think we're saying this couple. I guess 8.9. Like, uh, you didn't think Bethesda was driven a 9? Oh, I said Bethesda got a 9. Okay. Yeah. Nine, Bethesda got a 9 out of 10. 8.9 for Xbox. But here's the thing. Wow, Xbox, we differed in this great thing. Xbox showed a lot of games. However, they're not doing anything to make people buy their system. In fact, they're undermining it even more. It's like, because they're focusing on cloud gaming. Also, welcome to Project Scarlet, guys. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure that's what that's going to be. And that's why Ubisoft is trying to say that, um, that, that next gen's not gonna be, like, it's gonna be last gen. It's because they think that since Xbox doing entirely cloud ga gaming, that everyone else is just gonna And the jump weird thing it. is, Sony did, the, did their cloud gaming as a novelty. It wasn't their main thing. When PS Now came out, it wasn't supposed to start this fire under people to go, mm -hmm. hey, we should do this, but nothing else. Sony's like, no, this is just something we do. This so, th like, that's. That would be some sketchy shit because, okay, we're buying computing power, ooh, we're buying games as a service, and it's like... And then, like DeNuvo, when the server shuts down for your game, you yeah, can't you play it anymore. Which, you just spent $60 for nothing. Yeah, that's why I appreciate the movie from. Yeah. I'll, get, I'll get to them later. Um, honestly, the momentum for Xbox didn't really kick in until like halfway through the show. What really like started my hype was Jump Force. Like, once they announced Jump, showed Jump Force, I was like, yeah. And I saw some gameplay for that, and that game looks amazing. I'm hoping that it has as many characters, like, all the characters, for, like, if they pull a, a Smash Ultimate, but, but like, with J-Stars, everything that's ever been in J-Stars, I'll cream. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. You heard it here first, folks. Probably cream over J-Stars. That sounds like a porn waiting to happen. Probably like this. Yeah. Um... The weird shit they did with 
uh, gears fucked up at all. Um, they trolled so hard. We're not gonna see the new Halo for years. I'm just calling it now. Yeah. It's gonna be at least two years. And it's probably not even gonna be this gen. Just calling it now. Because that's a new engine. They are just showing some. They just show some raw footage of the art style. We'll see Halo about the same time Crackdown Infinite is actually working properly. Crackdown Three. <laughs> no, Crackdown Infinite. Because Microsoft's gonna start naming everything Infinite. Now. Yeah. Um, I just don't know why they put. Best Best in Show for Xbox was Cyberpunk, which I I was weirded out. But that's not that, Xbox. Yeah, yeah, that's not just Cyberpunk Xbox. for me would be the best in the entire fucking thing right behind Ghost because yeah. it's CDPR. And it's gonna be different. Don't expect a, like a Witcher game. This it's is first person. This is the most different thing that CD Projekt Red has done. And honestly. dude, those were in-game graphics under the yeah. uh, Red Engine Four. I love the Ghost in the Shell. God so much. damn! It's gonna be first person. It's gonna be great. Um, some people are saying the gameplay is closer to Fallout than it is Witcher. So that's gonna be interesting. It's. I think it's gonna be an amalgamation of both. I think yeah. they're gonna probably like. There's going to be gunplay, but I also think because it's CDPR, there's going to be heavy story, there's going to be high RPG stuff. Because yeah. uh, CDPR just makes RPGs. While we're on the topic of CD Projekt, um, I got to see some of the gameplay for Soul Calibur VI uh, with uh, Geralt, and he's not that... In fact, I think he's the least broken cameo character in Soul Calibur series. Because, well, like... Was? Oh, yeah. Like, here's the thing. Like, he doesn't have Acne. a little... He does... Acne! is actually just chicken. It's not, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, the fire doesn't actually keep him on fire. Yeah. So I was hoping um, he could do the full torch. He's not, well, he's not horribly OP. He, he doesn't have a, a tiny bit of stun lock, but it's manageable. Like, you, you can, he can get his ass kicked. Easily. So it's it's not like he's a super OP character but that's going to beat everyone in the game He does have easily. a stun lock problem. It's just not that it's... Other characters have it too. His isn't anything special. Like, it's, it's just what it is. Um, I wish they would have put like a Witcher sense in the game. And... Um, he does have a, like his you know his critical edge is pretty good, um, but it's, it's a good cameo character. I like what they're doing with it. Um, but yeah, back to the subject about Xbox show. Like, that was like eight point nine out of ten. It's a good show. They just I Xbox is gonna lose this generation entirely. They're fucked. Yeah, this generation is you know PlayStation and Nintendo. Me and Robert got into a pseudo argument today that I don't think Nintendo's ever going to catch up to PS4 sales because by the time they do, it won't matter. I think PS5 will be out. I think it's theoretically possible by the end that they're going to be like PS5 in. will be out by the time they catch up, which means Sony already won. Yeah, they're they're going to be high tailing, and like I said, they would have won if it weren't for that Wii U hurdle. Like if the, if if they wouldn't fuck that up, they would have won. Attention, Nintendo. You put it on your last two consoles. If I don't see a fatal frame on your fucking Switch, we're gonna have problems. <laughs> I'm serious. And don't give me stupid fucking controller fucking bullshit again. I don't want to have to do this every time I want to fucking take a photo. <laughs> fucking do something a little more fucking ingenious than that. Or goddamn it, do what I've been saying for years and give me a camera obscura accessory. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm okay with this. Right under uh, Microsoft. Um, I'm gonna put Devolver Digital at uh, 8.6. Those motherfuckers are great. And uh, Robert, I told—did you get a chance to watch their show today? Actually, no, not 8.6, 8.7. Did you get a chance to watch their show? They were streaming via Steam at E3. I didn't see their streams, but I did see the gameplay. Some of the gameplay. Like, it was yeah. yeah, they're they're they're, they're, they're a bunch of guys that don't buy into the Which, whole. They didn't they didn't show too many games, but they're just, they're just hilarious. They, they aren't cringe. They're just hilarious. Yeah. And they I, make it, they have like this saga going. I have to wait till the next E3 to see what they do yeah. with that chick. I was like, no. The fact that Metal of Chaos XD is coming here finally is amazing. I am fucking hyped about that. Yeah, that, you that get to was... play a, another game where you play the President of the United States, not just Nino Kuni Two guys. Yeah. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fucking great. I'm gonna let's play that once I get it. Um, right under them, I'm gonna put an 8.6 limited run. Now they didn't show new games. Limited Run, like they make, uh, they make physical copies of games that already exist and sell, I mean, sell them then well, for a limited time. Well, usually for digital only games. Yeah. Fuck you for putting dust. Uh, yeah. Fuck dust. My I have to buy a Switch now. Gonna, I yeah. wasn't gonna buy a Switch, but now that you have dust, I have to buy a fucking Switch because I will support a guy who. Oh yeah. Who makes that game by himself? You know what AAA companies this day still can't fucking do. <laughs> 
Yeah, they did, they did pretty good. Although they they were just weird, so fucking weird. Cause everybody's two D sprites. Yeah, like I was. The like, crowd doesn't exist. The crowd was just like this one guy just going. Yeah. <laughs> like the fuck. Like I don't know what was going on. With them. They weren't even trying to be cringe. Like, they wanted you to take it seriously, and I'm just sitting there going, I can't take you seriously. Yeah, that was weird. Your games are fucking... You want your repackaging? This motherfucker for Fate of Magana oh, man. started crying like a little bitch in heat. I, I heard the soundtrack, and I was like, you're doing this to me? Because <laughs> there's never been a physical copy, right? No. For that game. So Rob's buying it. Yeah, I'm buying it. Yeah. Like, that's another one of the shows that's just incentive to buy the Switch, because there's, like, they announced so many titles that are coming to the Switch in physical copy, and I'm just like, ugh, 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 yeah. ugh. It's like, uh. Gotta get some crease in favor with some Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds yeah. overdrive, yep. Yeah. Um, right behind, uh, Limited Run, Ubisoft. I, I gave them an 8.5. Oh, I mean, we, we have to make up a new kind of cringe for Ubisoft, because they do this every year. Yeah, I'm it's, just going to call it Ubi cringe. It's, it's copy-based. It's, yeah, it's Ubi cringe. Like, they copy-based they copy some stuff, but at least they took some risks and did some different stuff. Although, some of the risks were pretty stupid. Uh, I mean, they're doing a documentary on eSports with Rainbow Six, and I'm just like, Not to mention why? the fact that, I mean, there was a marching panda. I, I, I'm just like, what? However, on the opposite end, they're doing really good with uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2, where they're... Mm. They just brought in Jade. Yeah. I'm sold. And then they're having it to where the fans can uh, contribute, not only contribute, or they're not just going to like pick their favorite. Literally, everyone's going to be collaborating and make quality content. Thank you, him. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, for sticking your name out for Ubisoft. Like, I mean, I, I thought you were just a good actor, but apparently you're actually a good person. Yeah. So, uh... Thank you very much. I know I never watched this video because you're too busy with that insane business you're doing right now. Uh, he might, uh, he, he's, he's a pretty cool dude. Yeah, Hit Record is uh, just, guys, check it out when we go to their site. Uh, if, you, if you're an asset maker, if you're a software artist. It's just a good place for contributing to ideas, sharing ideas, yeah. and working together on projects. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm going to push this hard because I think that, you know, this game will be the first yeah. company backed, community made game. And, and we're not going to talk about Skyrim being that because. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just time to let him fix his game for Oh, man. Um... I mean, my, like, the thing I thought was more cringe is the guy that... I like the games for Trials, but I, I think the guy who makes them is just cringe over here. He's insane. The yeah. guy from Red Wings is nuts. But I, that's fine. I actually still think to this day that most of the people that work at Ubisoft should be in a mental institution. Yeah. Division 2, we were actually attempting to not make it shit. And I might buy this. A uh, whole see. year free DLC. Yeah. With raids. new landmasses. Yeah. New, new, new landmasses, and you got raids now. So it's... They're making attempts. The uh, DK DLC is coming to Mario Rabbids. That's good. Um, I've been looking forward to that. We saw some more Skull and Bones, you know, where they just ripped the ship combat from uh, Black Flag. Man, those pirates look great, don't they? Uh, the funny yeah. thing is, I think the combat from Kingdom Hearts 3, ship combat was <laughs> better, to be honest. But hey, uh, hey, it's a multiplayer, uh, Skull and Bones is a multiplayer ship fighting game, so that'll be interesting. Um, Elijah Wood, Jack Black, the Transference VR game is weird. It's like, I, I didn't even recognize Jack Black because of the fact that he was just fully serious. Yeah, he's never... There was none of the goofiness of Jack Black there. It was like, he actually took this role seriously, and I, I actually thought that was pretty cool of him. Uh, I look forward to it for that reason, to see him in a serious This role. game reminds me a little bit of Observer. Yeah. Uh, but it's definitely got some darker, even darker than that game vibes to it. I think you're a kid going through his dad's mind or something. Yeah. I can't really explain what's also, going on. Also, another VR game, I actually saw uh, the trailer for it. Beat uh, Saber! Yeah, that's coming, and there's also Froms, uh, From Software's VR game. Do you know how to pronounce that fucking fantastic I don't know, word? but... Like a it, or something? I, I don't think it. this is going to be a horror game. I think this is going to be more magical. This is Froms song. Yeah, it was following, it was following uh, the theme of a fairy, I noticed. Oh, that's not crazy. Yeah. It's going to be a magical world. Um, Ubi got a lot of points for me because... Star Fox. <laughs> Dear LG, please stop turning off my fucking Wi-Fi, you dirty bastards. Go on, yeah, we're in Star Fox and uh, Starlink. 
I wasn't gonna get into this game because I thought the idea of what they're doing with the uh, attachments to the PS4 controller was atrocious. <laughs> but I saw Star Fox and I'm like, damn it, I gotta do it. No, Star Fox is Nintendo. He sold it. He sold it for me with Star Fox. I'm just Star like, Fox is Nintendo. damn it. Well, I was getting Dynasty Warriors, you know, and not Dynasty Warriors, but basically character classes that <laughs> are influenced by Dynasty Warriors and new game mode. I'm calling it to be broken on release, just because that's how Four Hours always been. Dorashi? Uh, Crew 2 is getting open beta. Um. Yeah, it is what it is. <coughs> Jordan's gonna like that. Um. Insert something about Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but it's not Assassin's Creed. Yeah, we can't figure out any way to tie this to the actual like gameplay. Like, like if you Assassin's approach this game as not Assassin's Creed, I think you'll like it. But I just don't think it's Assassin's Creed. I think basically the direction is we just want to jump through history, different time periods, tell stories, different kinds of characters. Hey, can we uh, can we go to Japan now, please? Now we got ghosts for a moment. <laughs> Yeah, open world ghosts, dude. Just um, yeah. Not, not Call of Duty ghosts. That's a piece of shit. We're not talking about that. We're talking about ghosts of Tsushima. But now we're dropping down to the losers of E3. The losers of E3 oh, were God. Square Enix and EA. And EA, I rated higher than Square Enix. Here's the thing. I woke up early for Square Enix's show, and I was disappointed. Half an hour of a lot of nothing. And no Avengers. And no Final Fantasy VII remake. And a repeat of the same trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3. For some reason, they showed a different version at Sony's. And it was, that, was, that was a really good one. I was just like, okay. Square copy and paste it on the show. Like, they, they just basically feel like they kind of fucked themselves over by buffing the other conferences. Yeah! They like that porn guy who actually does the walking. <laughs> That's kind of how I felt this conference was for Square. Uh, I'll get back to Square in a minute. There's not too much to talk about them, but I'll get back to them. Um, like the best, like EA played it horribly safe this year. I gave them just a straight up five out of ten, average, nothing special. Yeah, like they, they played were, it super safe. They were kind of shit. They opened with Battlefield Five. They were the first freaking battle royale announcer of the year. They ruined Command and Conquer. Um, what else? Uh, Anthem disappointed me. Bioware's turning their back on everything that they were. Um, well, to be fair, I think that's because EA is forcing them to. Probably. Because look what happened in drama. That was EA Montreal. And Montreal we got our Montreal. obligatory sports bullshit. Um, nothing special there. Um, Origin Prime. Whatever the fuck it was. Origin Prime. Origin Premiere. More uh, cloud bullshit. Um, ooh, let's drop a little Star Wars thing that we don't know nothing about. Oh, cool. Uh, Battlefront. Uh, what? What? Why? You already gave up on the game. Anymore. Yeah. They. And no, they're trying to hold on. Like, someone in that team just wants to hold on with, with the force of Zeus. I want to hold on with the force. Just like. Yeah. Like, the only game, like, I'm interested in Star Wars, uh, Fallen Jedi Order thing. Um, Unreal 2 was the best game they showed. Which, yeah, it was fun. It was, like, a good, like, probably 7 to 8 out of 10 game. Like, it's already out. Yeah, it's already out. Um, we haven't played yet, we will. But, yeah, nothing from EA show was special. Uh, honestly, like I've said uh, before, um, Code Veins... The 11 minutes of gameplay they showed for Code Vein was better than anything else EA that was too busy trying to make you go back to taking Zoloft for depression and fucking loneliness. Like, it it was literally like, why are you guys trying to depress me? This is like, to be happy. I had to take them off, like, I had to give them less weight on my rating scale for E3 overall just because they, 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 there's a lot of nothing, no, nothing important. It's like really. a black hole of garbage. Even Wesley was a Square Enix boy. Um, I gave him a 3 out of 10. I was very disappointed. Very disappointed. Like, I woke up early. I don't know what to say about Square. I'm like, disappointed. Oh, we got Shadow Tomb Raider uh, gameplay. Tomb Raider series just wouldn't happen if, you know, Laura Croft had some awareness when she <laughs> needed it. 
Because, like, half the plots of half the games are, I got bonked in the back of the head. If she just... Well, if I she mean, didn't get goku okay. If she would, would just stop getting goku would There is times where she, you know, falls off of boats, or... But no, like, what starts the plots of those games is someone bonks her on the back of the head. No, 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 near drowning is another one. They like yeah. near drowning. Like, Basically, they like making Laura suffer really badly. It's either someone bonks her on the head, or the environment's trying to kill her, like Nathan Drake. Um, so Nathan Drake's badass at doing it. Now, I still I want a Uncharted Tomb Raider crossover. I want it to happen. Naughty Dog, get on this shit. Um, rest of most of what Square had to show were repeat trailers. I mean, I, I'm hyped for the games. I'm hyped for the games that are releasing, and I'm going to buy them. But they just... It was a bad showcase. That's yeah, all. It was kind of shit. Um, I don't know what the fuck the Quiet Man is. Edgy Lordness. Like, I'm a bum. I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna take No, he's a lead. bum that kicks the asses of other bums. Yeah, it's... It's bum combat. Um, there was that one other game that looked interesting. I can't remember what it was called. I think I said it in another video anyway. <laughs> um... The rest was just it. It was it. Like, I was utterly disappointed. I woke up expecting to get hyped again for the next day of E3, and I didn't. They really dragged that beginning of the. That was a slow day for me. Um, yeah. Like overall, like uh, Sega actually shows. Sega's like their conference wasn't even really a conference. It's just them showing shit daily. Sega was doing a better job with Square than this E3. With uh, Fist and Star and uh, releasing games on PC. Um, here uh, tomorrow they're gonna be talking about uh, uh, Yakuza Kiwami 2. So that's gonna be some really cool shit. You have to watch that. I have to work. Yeah, I'm gonna be covering individual videos. You know, posting them later on. Um, there's a lot of gameplay videos that are watched. Yeah, speaking but... of which, uh, games part of the report on Sound. Yeah. Yeah. Um, overall, E3 for me this year was like 8.5 out of 10. Yeah. It was... Like it was mostly solid. I give it an 8.7. Like, we just got some... Sound nicer than Robert. We just got some shittier conferences like EA's and Square's. And that just... That soured me a little bit. Um... I'm gonna look at our final thoughts for Friday, I think. Uh, this, this is most of my final thoughts. There's just gameplay... Uh, not everything is shown in the conferences, obviously. No. I mean, Sony would have had a better conference if they just didn't do the whole leading up to E3 thing and just announce their games there. So you got Twin Mirror. We got, um... Tetris. They talked about Days Effect. Gone. Um, Ghost Giant was interesting looking. Tetris Effect. <laughs> like, 3D Tetris peaked at Tetrisphere, okay? That game was awful, though. <laughs> like, this one, though, has flashier colors than that one. Yeah, look up, just check out the gameplay that they're showing for games, because that's all over the place. We got gameplay of Soul Calibur 6, Code Vein, Dead or Alive 6, um, we got, uh, Spyro gameplay. We got gameplay of a. Uh, it was a gameplay trailer for Resident Evil 2 uh, remake. Um, they showed some. There was some more gameplay of Devil May Cry 5. I mean, there's tons of gameplay out there to be shown. Um, Jump Forces has gameplay. It's just fucking amazing. I need to stop gushing over this game. They're going to think you have a hard on for what you're Oh my god, I want to know how they work as fighting mechanic. <laughs> it's, it's Persona, it's Ryu. Ryu's just Persona. I mean, of course, they have gameplay for Battlefield Five. Um, By the way, where the fuck was Atlas? Yeah, that was a thing. Um, I mean, Sega was there, Atlas should be there. They own you. There was a lot of games that were released, or coming up this year. Like, yeah. Nintendo and, especially. And then most of the other games are like January and February of next year, which isn't too far off. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of good shit. But yeah, I'll definitely check out those gameplay videos. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a, 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 even more videos on this stuff because I'm gonna do a video talking about every new game showcased E3. I'm going to do a video explaining all the gameplay that we have, and I'm, I'm gonna do some more personal videos because there's a lot of games that hit me on a personal level. And I really like those games, and we're getting those games, and I need some clarification because there's a lot of misreporting on shit. And we need good recording. That, that, was, just, a, that was a thing. That's good. Yeah. PSV, uh, the PSVR of Beat Saber means Beat Saber is going to come to the Switch oh, eventually. I'm just going to rub this in everyone's face. There was no new portable for PlayStation. Like everybody thought there was going to be. Yeah, that. 
That means that we're probably really hitting the end of the life cycle. Well, I think the PS5 will destroy everything out there, so I don't really care, because Ryzen technology. Yeah, yeah, that is something that's interesting, is the fact that they are taking a look at Ryzen. Yep. So they're... which is weird. It's, it's hilarious that Microsoft builds more powerful systems, and just like the PS2 before it, Microsoft will learn that powerful systems don't make yeah. winning systems. They keep trying to put more and more horsepower into it, and they just don't have any games. They're just going to put a lot of horsepower into the cloud, I'm calling it. It's like, what? Into the cloud. Like, that's what you're gonna do. Like. Yeah, fuck cloud media. Yeah, fuck. Uh, if we had better internet in the US, it'd be one thing, but. We don't. We're behind the world even though we invented the internet. <laughs> like. Do you remember who did that? Uh, it was a guy, uh, one of the guys that worked over at CERN, actually. Um, who was his name? I can't remember his name. It's well, the same guy not who, good history lessons, folks. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't remember the exact details. Um, he seemed to invent HTML as well, and uh, the HTTP protocol. I remember what he invented. I just can't remember his name off the top of my head. You look at me. I'm gonna keep an old record of things going around. Yeah. I mean, he looks at the code now today. He think it's an abomination, but it's a version five anyway. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of content out there. A lot more to come. I mean, I'm gonna be doing Let's Plays of all kinds of shit. Fallout Anthology, I'm finishing my old Doom Let's Play, I'm finishing my Steinscape Let's Play. He still hasn't beaten Doom, guys. It's been out for almost three years, he still hasn't beaten Doom. I've been busy! <laughs> so many things I've uh, seen. Replaying yeah. Resident Evil and Resident Evil 2, uh, replaying Kingdom Hearts series. We will definitely be live streaming Resident Evil 2. Yeah. Definitely, when it comes yeah. out. Where, where are we doing that? You know they're revamping the interactions between Claire and uh, Leon? Is that, is that, like they're redesigning how the interact. What's the assassin's name? Aya or something? Uh, yeah, I can't remember top of my head right now. The girl's always in a Chinese dress. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're redoing. Somebody in the comments section remind me of that, please. They're redoing a lot of shit, so it's actually going to be a complete rehaul of the entire game. It's are getting back to the roots. Yeah, that's going to be a really good game. But best game and show was Ghost for me. Best conference and show was PC. Uh, I have a tw twin tie for best game of the show. It's Ghost of Tsushima and, of course, CD Projekt's the next oh, game Masterpiece. Yeah. 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 It's a lot of good shit. Um, if you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, look forward to more content. I have shit tons of E3 content, shit tons of further new gaming news content. This motherfucker's gonna be editing for a week. <laughs> a week? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. And uh, yep. like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, check out all our other resources and whatnot. I'm One Mad Scientist. Uh, it's my sub channel. I, I'm also Just a Mad Scientist on Twitch and Mad Scientist on Twitter. Um, I can't believe you have a fucking Twitter, dude. You're such a twat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm uh, Darian, and I'm Skydark Gaming's on my channel. I'm also posting out there. So. Yeah. Yeah, lots of fire shit, and yeah, I look forward to uh, bringing. You guys, yeah, I look forward to bringing you guys everything I can. Uh, um, check out my boy Javon at Ideal Story. He's helping us out. He, I mean, he's he got us this green screen. He's presented us with our entire recording setup for all of his E3 stuff. There will be shit on this green screen. Yeah, um, but yeah, he he means the world to me. He's he's a gift from the gods. He's a sexy man. Yeah, check him out. Um, I can see about doing skits of him at some point and uh, get, him, him, get in with him to do some uh, some unique film stuff. And yeah, he's we're going to see about doing a bunch of shit with that. Yeah, we'll be, uh, be on that. Uh, look out soon for Coco to have his own rant channel so you guys listen to oh him boy. bitch 24 fucking seconds <laughs> we have to deal with. He's literally going to try and do, we're going to try to make him do this because a Coco rant, it's a special occasion. Yeah, really guys, thank you for watching. I'm delivering the best content I can right now. It'll only be improving. So, yeah. thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye. I'm gonna put the intro and outro music on too, Rob. Wanna do your head Yeah.